straight on to the action to our second bout of the evening. Enter the cage first into the red corner. Please make some noise for Ronan Manning. Please make some noise for Paul Please make some noise for Ronan Manning. And his opponent, the fighter in the blue corner, weighing 64.6 kilograms. He's an independent fighter and this is his MMA debut. Please make some noise for Paul McKinnon. Well, I understand, Steve, that he, uh, thinks himself to perhaps be the second coming of Conor McGregor in this game. Well, in that case, we, he's got some big shoes to, to fill. Manning immediately trying to clinch up. We know he's got that Sambo background, this very similar style to judo, a lot of clinch work, a lot of throws and trips. And then of course, uh, leg-based submissions, ankle locks uh, and knee bars, of course, not able to use the ankle locks this evening He's running Manning, no twisting locks allowed under amateur rules. You know, McGinnis really fainting a lot with those kicks, putting them out there, flicking them out. He looks very, at least, comfortable throwing them. Yeah, it's a bit of a Taekwondo style. Oh, nice knee up the middle. Oh, oh these punches from Ronan Manning. Yeah, beautiful right hand that finished that. Right cross landed, right hook, sorry, landed. Paul McGuinness. Mc, Paul McGuinness melted into the cage there. He didn't come here to take part. He came here to fall over. Well, good Lord. And, 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 he, and he, he brought it. He absolutely. Perhaps just slightly out of his depth against the more experienced Ronan Manning. And Manning, for a guy with a Sambo background, really did know when to pounce when the opening was there with the strikes. And, if you come out with that Taekwondo style, your hands are usually around your hips. Same with the more traditional karate stances. And while it does give you a lot of options with movement, especially with the twisting attacks and the spinning attacks, does leave that chin open. If you can't get your hands up quick enough, a fighter like Ronan Manning will exploit it. And that's exactly what we saw there, Steve.
So after 53 seconds of the very first round, we have your winner via TKO for the fighter in the red corner, Ronan Manning. And please make some noise, your Royal Paul McGinnis. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Ronan Manning. Ronan, uh, quick finish there for you, early first round finish. Uh, were you expecting it to be over so soon? Uh, yeah, we, we work hard in our grappling, I know we're judo players, but are in our striking. And we have some really good strikers, we've got good boxing coaches. My brother's a high level professional MMA, and my other brother's high level, so I knew I was going to knock him out. He came out awkward, but I just took my time and I hit him, I was going to drop him. Uh, he came out in that kind of awkward taekwondo stance, hands quite low, looking to switch. Uh, did you see the openings there when the hands dropped? Uh, it was awkward, but I just knew that he was showing his two, two, one side all the time. He had no other hands, so I just took my time and I knew I'd hit him and cling him, and that was it. Excellent. Uh, is there anyone you'd like to thank before you leave us tonight? I uh, just always my coach there, Seamus, my old fella, and the brothers and everyone that trains in the club, and let's just keep going. Well, congratulations on the win. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Ronan Manning.